you are watching windows 365 master class in this episode we are going to look into the third option of windows 365 architecture in this option we are going to use hybrid azure ad join instead of azure ad join and we are going to use on prem network connection to connect to your on prem domain controller to join your cloud pcs let's begin let's look at the third deployment model just like option 2 architectural type option 3 also require certain permission within your azure subscription so go to your azure subscription within your subscription go to access control iam click on add role assignments search for windows 365 within windows 365 the most important thing what you need is windows 365 subscription reader so select that click next add this role to your subscription so i have already added in your case you need to review and assign this role the next one if you go to add role assignments you can find another two more roles windows 365 network interface contributor and network user these are required to create network interfaces or network within your azure subscription if you don't have contributor or global admin rights so if you do have administrator rights to your azure subscription you can go ahead and create it so this is the baselining so you need this must since the third option is hybrid azure ad join instead of azure ad join you need to have access to your on prem domain controller so things like you need to have the username and password which you can use to join your cloud pc to domain so you need that information second you need information about your ou where you are going to place this cloud pc within your on premises then because you are bringing in connection to your on premises connection along with azure you need to make sure that you have site to site connectivity back to your on premises or express route connectivity to your on premises if you do not have that you will not be able to join these cloud pcs to your on prem domain controller and access on prem resources so make sure you have all of that so what i am going to do right now just like how we created the network connection for the option 2 i am going to create a network connection for option 3 as well so go to your azure portal click on virtual network if you remember from the last episode this is the vnet we created for the option to bring your own azure network with azure ad join so i'm going to create a brand new virtual network now make sure you select the right subscription i'm going to create a new resource group i'm going to call it as windows 365 hybrid azure ad join with bring your own azure network resource group click okay give a name for your virtual network I'm going to call the network as VNet for Windows 365 Hybrid Azure AD Join Bring Your Own Network to On Premises. I'm going to retain the region as East US. Click Next. Let's verify the IP address. This time it is 10.3.0.0. We have the subnet. I'm going to change the subnet name. I'm going to call the subnet Windows 365 Hybrid Azure AD Join Bring Your Own Network to On Prem subnet and click on Save. and click on review and create after the validation click on create so this is going to create our virtual network for standing up the cloud pc but this is only the first part now we need to make sure that we have connectivity to your on prem that's the important step okay let me quickly go to resource to verify that i have the right address space we have the right subnets everything looks good now the next step is Make sure you have your on-prem environment connected to your Azure using Express Route or site-to-site -site VPN. So I do have an environment like that within my Azure environment. So if I go back to my network, my CM lab is hosted on-prem. Within this lab, let me quickly go to my resource group and show what we have. So if I go to my CM lab resource group, I have bunch of resources here. I have my AVD deployed. I have few client devices i have a domain controller hyper v host a configuration manager server etc so let me quickly go and connect to the domain controller so this is my on prem domain controller my domain is agtclab.com um i have bunch of computers and few users here so we're going to leverage 
this domain controller. We are going to connect our cloud PC or join our cloud PC to this domain. So I need to make sure that I have the right OU. Uh, by default, I'm going to leverage the existing OU. If I want to use a custom OU, I can create a new OU for cloud PCs, but I'm going to use the existing one. So you get the idea, right? So now if I go back to my Azure portal, since I have my environment within this resource group, all my resources are placed into CM lab network. Let's find the virtual network. So um, all the resources for my on-prem are hosted in the CM lab VNet. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a VNet pairing between the network we just now created to my on-prem environment. My cloud PCs will have direct line of sight to my on-prem resources. So if you want to understand what we are doing here, we created a VNet now, which is in my subscription. Now to give a connection back to my on-premises, I need to connect that VNet to a virtual network which have connectivity to my on-prem. So the cloud PC will have direct line of sight to my on-prem domain controller. So I'm going to go back to my virtual network, click the virtual network we created, which is the bring your own Azure network to on-prem. Within that, under settings, under settings, go to pairings. Here, I'm going to add VNet pairing. I'm going to call it as Azure to on-prem for cloud PC. I'm going to allow all the traffic. I'm going to name the pairing link and within the subscription i'm going to select the vnet where we want to connect so select cm lab vnet and i'm going to allow all the traffic and click on add now it have actually added the vnet pairing between these two network connections so if i go back to the cm lab vnet so click on azure virtual network cm lab vnet this is the on-prem vnet click on pairings you would see the vnet has been created so to make sure everything works well, um, I'm also doing this for the first time. Let's actually go and create a network connection. If we get the result as test successful, that means this pairing is working and uh, we have line of sight to on-prem. So let's go back to the Azure portal, sorry, the Intune portal. You can go to endpoint.microsoft.com. This time go to devices, click on cloud PC creation, Instead of creating a provisioning policy now, what we are going to do is we are going to go to Azure Network Connection. So click on Azure Network Connection and click on Create. Last time we created Azure AD Join. This time we are going to create Hybrid Azure AD Join. So click on Hybrid Azure AD Join. First, so I'm going to name it as Windows 365 Hybrid Azure AD Bring Your Own Network with On-Prem Connectivity Architectural Network. Select the subscription, select the resource group, where we have the network. So I'm going to select the resource group we created for this episode and pick the network. I'm going to pick the VNet Windows 365 Hybrid Azure AD Join. I could very well directly leverage the on-prem network as well. So there is nothing stopping you from selecting the on-prem network. Just to add a little more complexity, I created another network and added a peering. If this doesn't work, I'm going to switch it back to the on-prem uh, vnet directly all right so let's now select the network we created and the subnet for which have access to the peering click next this is where you will have to provide the name for the your on-prem domain controller details so your domain is agtclab.com i'm going to provide that if you don't want the cloud pc to be provisioned within the default ou you have to provide the OU details in this format. OU Cloud PC, your domain and uh, your name. So we will do that at the later stage. This is again, not the mandatory step. Right now, I just want my Cloud PC to be on the default computer OU. So the Cloud PCs will be visible over here. And now provide the on-prem username and password. So provide a username and password which have access for this Cloud PC to join to your domain. So this is an on-prem user account. I'm going to provide the password and click next. Again, you need to have access to these resources first before even proceeding further. So if you don't have the right permission within your Azure subscription, you will not be able to perform this task. Click on review and create. This again would take uh, up to 20 to 30 minutes to complete because this is to check the network connectivity, 
go to your on-prem to see if it has right access within your domain controller, things like that. So this is going to take some time. While that is happening, let's go and create the right groups and pick a user for testing this third option. So I'm going to go to a user for the first two demos. First demo we used Mackie. Second demo we used Chirashi. Third, third demo, let's use Nigiri. So select the user. First step is go to licenses. Click on assignments and give a license to this user. I'm going to assign 4V CPU, 16 GB RAM, 128 GB hard disk. Click on save. So now the license has been assigned. Now let's go to groups. Create a new group for this testing. Again, these steps are not mandatory. Okay, you can leverage your existing group, things like that. I'm just bringing in some order and some organizations to the way we do things. So, so to create the group, click on new group. Retain the group type as security. Give a name to the group. I'm going to call it as hybrid Azure AD join with bring your own network with on-prem architectural user group. Provide a description, user membership as assigned and click on create. Now we have the group created. Let's search W365. Let's quickly search the group and let's add the new user to the group. So the group we created is Windows 365 hybrid Azure AD join bring your own network on-prem architectural user group. I'm going to go back to the group go to the membership and add a member to the group so the user i'm going to add is nigiri we just now assigned a windows 365 license to this user so quickly refresh all right so we can see that the user is now part of this group now we have the group ready we have assigned the right license for a user now what's pending for us to proceed to the next step is to go and verify if the network connection has been successfully completed it's still running checks. So we need to wait for this to complete to proceed further. So if you look at that connectivity, you can see that the join type is hybrid Azure AD join instead of Azure AD join. So I'm going to pause the video. I will come back after this status is showing as check successful. Looks like our check has been failed. So what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to modify the VNet. Click on edit. And I'm going to just change the network from the VNet pairing one to directly connect to my on-prem uh, network. Click next, review and save. Hopefully that will resolve the issue. Like I said before, you don't have to create a VNet for this. If you can see or leverage your existing on-prem VNet within your Azure, you can leverage that. So that's what I have given right now. Let's see if that picks up and uh, works well, so I'm going to pause the video again and get back to you if I get any message. All right, so that was fast. So the check is being successful. So now we can proceed to creating the provisioning policy. So if you go to check successful in this compared to the last one, there is a couple of additional checks it will do to make sure that it is able to contact your Active Directory domain and make sure that the username and password you provided is correct so that Cloud PC can be joined correctly. There is a warning for the Azure AD devising, which you can ignore, just a warning. I don't think that's going to be an issue. So let's find out by creating a provisioning policy to see if we are able to create the virtual machine. So I'm going to go under provisioning policy. We already have two provisioning policy available. So let's go and create the third one. Third one is the third architecture. So click on create policy, give a name. So I'm going to call it as Windows 365 option 3. Hybrid Azure AD join with bring your own Azure network on-prem architectural provisioning policy. That's a mouthful. That's a quite a long name. Make sure you select the right license, which is enterprise. Um, instead of Azure AD join, we are going to select hybrid Azure AD join now. And when you select that, the underneath the below option would change automatically. Here, if you have configured properly, when you click on network, you would be able to see your on-prem network. So the Azure network connection, what we created is this Windows 365 hybrid to on-prem. Select that, click next. I'm going to retain the gallery image. So if anybody who want to know how to create the custom image, you can watch episode number three there I have explained how to create a custom image. So click next, leave these details default. I will create a separate video on how to update patches, how to deploy apps, etc. Click next under assignments. Click on add groups. 
search for the group we created before search for windows 365 the group we created is hybrid azure ad join bring your own network with on-prem architecture select click next and create so this is going to create the third provisioning policy which is what we needed for testing on this particular episode this is the third architecture so if i go back to my all cloud pcs i already had two you will start seeing the third one is not provisioned which is gonna use the new network connection we just selected if you want to verify the provisioning policy this is going to use hybrid azure ad plus on-prem architecture and the user is nigiri so right now it is provisioning the cloud pc so it is again going to take another 20 to 30 minutes to complete this and uh, we will come back to that once that is finished i'm going to pause the video i will see you after this is been completed it looks like the provisioning has been failed so let's click on the status to find out what could be the reason all right so the reason is cloud pc assigned user does not exist in on-prem active directory so that means the user has to be a hybrid user as well so the license who i assigned this license is for a cloud born user so i didn't know that so let's go back to the users so the user i assigned the license is this user so if you look at the user this is not an on-prem user this is a cloud born user so for a hybrid so for a hybrid network or hybrid architecture to work the user has to be a hybrid user so i'm going to pick a user let's pick um, the user whom should we pick on-prem user let's find out who are all the on-prem users we have so i'm going to pick this user on-prem user one click on the user and first i'm going to assign the licenses to this user go to assignments and i'm going to assign the license click on save so we have assigned a windows 365 license to this on-prem user click on save and next step is we have to add this user to the right group so i'm going to go to the group click on add membership select w365 the group we created is the third one click on select and add this user to that group so while that is happening i'm going to the group again and remove the cloud user from the group i'm going to go back to the user group go to nigiri click on licenses i'm going to unassign the license from this user click on save and go back to the user and click on groups i'm going to remove the user from the group as well select the group and remove membership click ok all right so now if you go back to devices cloud pc creation all cloud pcs we would see that for the user nigiri the cloud pc has been deprovisioning because we just reassigned or unassigned the license for the on-prem user that has been sourced from your on-prem domain controller the user the cloud pc has been getting provisioned so i'm going to pause the video to see if this has any issues hopefully not i'll come back once this status is been changed so after nearly an hour the cloud pc has been provisioned for the third architecture which is hybrid azure ad join with bring your own network to your on-prem domain controller so let's see if we can see this cloud pc i'm gonna quickly go to um, all cloud pc click on refresh the next what we can do is we can go to our on-prem domain controller and check if we can see it over there the name of the cloud pc is cpc on-prem random number so let's launch my on-prem domain controller go to domain quickly refresh go to computers yep i can see that there is a new computer object created for that particular user which is cpc on-prem that random number so now let's sign in to that account let's sign into that user cloud pc using a browser go to windows 365.microsoft.com hit enter sign in with that user account the user account is on-prem user one provide the username and the password and click on sign in all right so this is the first window you would see if the user is signing into their windows 365 for the first time so click next go through this click on getting started let's increase the size a bit so you can see what i'm showing click on open in a browser accept the default settings click on continue and provide the password and click on sign in so it is signing in for the first time this browser is showing me a warning that i'm using firefox at the moment so it's, it's showing that it's no may not all the features are supported in this particular browser 
not sure which all are not supported all right so let's see how long it takes to sign in all right so we've signed in to the windows 11 operating system for the first time this is a cloud pc let me quickly go to system and check if it is joined to hybrid ad so go to system i'm gonna go search for about click on about here you can see the configuration of the machine click on advanced system settings okay so now you can see that this user is being or this computer is being joined to the on-prem domain controller which is agtclab.com let's see if we can access some files from the local network share first let's go and find out the server name of our domain controller cmlab dc1 so i'm gonna see if i can access that server from my cloud pc yes i can access that server so this is logged into my cloud pc and i can access the file shares on my local drive so if there is any file and print server available in the network or any applications which is exposed for a user within your organization this cloud pc will be able to connect without needing any vpn or anything like that so that's how you configure the third network type which is hybrid azure ad join with bring your own network and connectivity back into your on-premises network I hope you find this video useful. I will see you on the next one. Take care.